What up YouTube? This is Steven and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the covers of Mika Nakashima's single Hanataba, which translates to bouquet. And let's begin with the CD only slash regular edition version of the single. Okay, so when I first look at this single cover, I noticed that, you know, there's a lot going on here. You know, you have the leaves, you have the, um, the coloration in the background, you have um, Mika's dress, you know, you have a lot of things going on in this photo. And I think a lot of things work in this photo. And Mika, she had a lot of things going for her in this photo. You know, like the background and the leaves and the dress and even the accessories but I think Mika did not bring enough to this photo in my opinion like her body language is awkward and it's not like the good awkward that models can do you know it's not like a good awkward. It's a kind of like a weird awkward. It's kind of like she didn't know what to do with her her arms. So the pose looks a bit weird. Um, also, her facial expression. I don't know what she's trying to portray with that facial expression. I'm not sure. Um, maybe she's in awe of something are mesmerized by something I don't know but I don't know what she's trying to portray with that facial expression so that's an issue too so you have like awkward body language and a facial expression that is not here or there so yeah that kinda you know that decreases the quality of the photo in my opinion And that's a shame because there is a, like I said before, there's so much in this photo that works. Everything is working in Mika's favor. And all she had to do was just, like all that she had to do was just come with a, a good facial expression and good body language. Or at least one or the other. Like if you had to choose between one or the other, I would choose a good facial expression. Because I think... Had she had had a better facial expression, she could have pulled off this photo better, even with the weird, awkward body language. Um, but her facial expression here is a bit just like on the nose. It's kind of in the middle. It's not quite here. It's not quite there. It's just in the middle. And it's not really giving or portraying any type of a message, in my opinion. I like the dress that she's wearing. You know, it has like a real regal quality with it. And she kind of looks like she could be like, you know, a princess or a queen, you know, a woman of importance. Um, you know, she could have maybe positioned her arms maybe up towards like the ceiling like pushes in her arms upward I think that would have worked a little bit better um, however I will give her credit for not doing the obvious and doing like hand on the hips you know like modeling 101 101 so I'll give her credit for that the hair like her hair it looks nice. It kind of has like an edge with it. It's kind of like a bit edgy, a bit avant-garde, you know. And her makeup, I think, you know, the outfit and the makeup goes well with the background and the scenery. I think that all blends in well together, you know. It has like such, like, this whole picture has like such a deep shade of red which represents passion. So I'm guessing 
they're trying to represent passion here. Um, you know, the title the title of the single is Hanataba, which translates to bouquet. And I can see, okay, they kind of incorporated that, sort of. Which, you know, it's fine. They don't have to incorporate it much at all because it is sort of a hard concept to incorporate, you know, bouquet. Although they could have just given her like a bouquet of flowers. But they decided not to be so obvious, which is fine with me. <clears throat> Perhaps she is symbolically the bouquet of flowers herself. You know? Who knows, you know? It's up for interpretation. However, since this was such a deep shade of red, which to me represented passion, I would have liked to have seen a stronger expression on Mika's face. But on to the next photo. This is the cover for the limited edition, also known as the CD plus DVD edition of the single. And I will say that her facial expression here is a slight improvement from the previous cover. As well, this is an upper body shot, so you definitely have to get the facial expression right, or else you won't have a shot at all. You won't have a good shot at all. And, you know, it's not the best facial expression, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I like the background, as I said before, you know, a little dark, but I do like it. Um, I like the dress that she's wearing. Um, I think she might be given a little bit too much neck in this photo. Her neck might look a little too long in this photo. You know? Almost coming off as, you know, a bit giraffe-ish. You know? <clears throat> um, I like the... the... flower necklace that she's wearing. I like that. I think that's a nice touch. Although, I think the coloration maybe should have matched better with the dress. Um, but, hey, what do I know? Um, I wish I could see her hair a little bit better. I think it's kind of like blending into the background. Uh, I wish there would have been a bit more contrast between the background and her hair. Because I think her hair is sort of like telling a story itself. You know, it has a story to tell. It's like a bit edgy and... You know, it looks slightly a little disheveled, you know, out of place. And I think that works, you know, that kind of works with um, increasing the quality of the photo, you know, adding some drama to the photo. <clears throat> and like I said before, I really like the coloration of the photo. And I think, you know, like I said, so many things are working for Mika in this photo. So many things are in her favor. But I just don't think Mika brought as much to the photo as she should have brought. Um, so definitely good job to her people for putting this together. You know, I think they did their part. I just think that Mika perhaps didn't do as much of her part as she should have. I just noticed this, but perhaps they should have added some red lipstick to Mika's lips. Perhaps that would, um, you know, a little detail that would help increase the quality of this photo as well. But overall, um, I think these photos, I, I think the photo is nice. I think it looks nice. It's okay. But overall, Mika should have did more. She should have brought more to the photo. Or to the photos, really. Um, 
in my opinion, the best photo is the limited edition version slash CD only version of the single cover. And I think that is the best because I think her facial expression looks better. You don't really notice her body language because it's an upper body shot. So I think that that is, you know, the limited edition version is the better version. You know, I think it's the best version, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Feel free to let me know. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Until the next photo analysis, adios and goodbye for now.